Hello everyone! So I just wanted to give you all a bit of an update and a retrospective on the recent charity stream that we did on this channel. So on the 11th of March we did a charity fundraising stream to get people to donate money to the UNRWA, which is the main organization in charge of uh, basically services for refugees in Gaza, and we have the ongoing genocide there, we're providing humanitarian aid, food, basics, pretty much everything. And my initial goal was 30,000 and I wasn't sure if we were going to meet it. Yet by the end of the stream, we had raised about 65,000 in only about eight hours. Absolutely crazy. And guess what? Since then, the amount raised has actually gone up substantially, even when I haven't been streaming. As I record this, it's currently at $71,201 raised for the UNRWA. And this is fantastic just thank you thank you very much to everyone who donated i honestly didn't know that i had this kind of power so um yeah that's fantastic um but i don't know how you guys have any money left so just for transparency's sake this fundraising drive was done directly on the unrw usa website all of the money went directly to them there was no you know intermediaries it didn't pass through me first it was all donated directly to them on their own website they just let you sort of make your own little um, fundraising page there and then get the money sent to them. And they themselves are presently at $2,800,000 out of their $3 million total goal for fundraising this year. And I gotta say, it feels pretty good that we contributed a not insignificant portion of that. So again, thank you all and thank you to everyone who came onto the stream. That is um, you, Gopnik, Hakim, Second Fort, and Salim. And just so you know, I've uploaded all of the clips of my chats with them during the charity stream to my second channel. There's four different VODs and they're going to be linked in the description. I'm also going to link the charity page again in the description if you guys want to go and donate any more, which would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, so again, thanks to everyone who donated, thanks to everyone who showed up, thanks especially to the guys who came on and helped to keep me sane during those eight hours because um, I really don't like streaming for eight hours, you know, somehow held out. And that's not even that much. There are some streamers that go for way longer than that every day. So yeah, they're basically crazy. And while we're here, I just want to say that yesterday, as I'm recording this yesterday at least, Israel targeted for specific assassinations seven foreign aid workers or six foreign aid workers and one Palestinian translator in Gaza. These aid workers were citizens of Poland, Australia, the USA, and the UK. They were very clearly deliberately targeted in cars that were clearly marked with the insignia of the organization that they work for, that were not even a part of the same convoy. They were actually two kilometers apart. The Israelis even made sure to assassinate the survivors when they tried to take cover in another car. And this incident just really drives home that while what we did here might help a little bit, it might help to get some food on the table for some people in Gaza, it's not going to solve the problem, because if they're killing the aid workers, what can we really say about just throwing more money at them? And the only reason, again, why this is getting so much attention is because they're foreigners. They're killing Palestinian aid workers all the time like it's nothing. They're killing Palestinians all the time like it's nothing. So this is how their conduct has been in Gaza. This is a pattern for them. They murder civilians. They specifically target and intentionally murder civilians. It's a genocide. It's ongoing. It's going to go to the trial of the ICJ, and if there's any justice in the world, they'll be found guilty for it. But by then, it'll be too late. That'll be years in the future. The only real way that anything is going to change here, this is going to stop, is if Israel is forced to stop. And it's not going to be forced to stop by us throwing money at aid organizations to basically put a band-aid on the issue for a few people for a short amount of time until they just get killed in an Israeli airstrike or by a genocidal Israeli soldier on the ground. What can you do about it? Honestly, I don't know. It's pretty clear at this point that the USA is not going to withdraw support for Israel. Europe is not going to withdraw its, its enthusiastic support for Israel. It's all rhetoric. They just sort of pretend to care. They just sort of pretend to tut tut at Israel and they just let it keep doing everything that it's doing. If this was any other country, there would have already been an international task force to intervene and invade. Or, well, if this was happening to a country that was allied with the West, that would be happening. It is sad. I feel impotent. Um, I can only imagine how actual Palestinians who are not in Gaza feel in this moment and not even on the same level as the actual victims of this genocide. I don't want to be too much of a downer, but I don't want you guys to get complacent and think that what we did here is somehow going to save the world because it's not. But yeah, what else can I really say? Um, thank you guys for what little you did here to help. Thank you to everyone who donated, everyone who watched, everyone who, who um, came onto the stream again. Thanks so much. Yeah, if anyone else wants to 
do their own little fundraiser for Gaza, definitely do it through the UNRWA USA website. I highly recommend it. Very easy. Go straight to them. No problems at all with you having to organize, you know, like a, a transfer to them or anything like that. Very simple, very easy. Highly recommend it. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that because I realized just today really that I never made a follow-up video on my, on my main channel. It's a good time to do it now given what Israel just did. Another despicable crime that they committed in Gaza. And sadly, it's only going to be getting attention. It's only getting my attention, really, which is horrible because it happened to foreigners rather than the Palestinians who it's been happening to this whole time. Fuck Israel. Thank you.